Hey you guys, how are you? How is everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and happy weekend. Yeah, so today I decided to share my weekend time with you guys. Spend a little bit of time here as I help you prepare for what is potentially coming our way very soon. And um, before I go so far, I want um, people who are tuned in because I can see there's already a, a couple of people in here. Just let me know if you can hear me. I just want to be sure that it's not mute like last weekend. If you can hear me, hit me a thumbs up. Hit me a thumbs up. Oh, my glasses reflect a lot. I'm going to just put them aside a little bit. So if you can hear me, please go ahead and... Um, and type on the comment that you can hear me. But technically today I want us to talk about a couple of things. And my goal for today's life is to prepare you for what is coming our way. And the best way for me to prepare you is to get you added into our list that I call the priority list, my priority list for the crushers. And technically, I will explain to you what crushers are, what it is all about, and why it is important for you to join in. And um, just one second, I really want to see you guys comment. I want to make sure that you can hear me. That's what I'm looking for. Because last time it happened that I was live and you guys could not hear me. I see some people hitting a thumbs up. So I want to believe that means you can hear me. I'll just refresh something here real quick. The light is too much sometimes. Okay, here we go. So I see that you can hear me. So I will go ahead and get started with our conversation. I really hope that you hear me. So um, what is the crashers list and why should you care about it? I will start there. I will start there. That way we can all understand what I'm talking about. And even you, you get some, you know, some kind of a bearing why you should even care to join it. So one thing I want to remind you guys right now, there's a very high chance that we are going to hit a recession. I don't know if you know what a recession is, or even if you do not know what, what a recession is, it's going to impact you. You're going to feel it. No one is like, proof of it. And what that is going to mean is that a lot of people are going to lose jobs. There's going to be um, joblessness. There is going to have, um, there's not going to be enough money in circulation technically because prices are going to go very low. When a recession hits, everyone gets to suffer in one way or another. Uh, life is going to be a little unbearable to some, especially when you don't have any income. If you are reliant on your job, then you might be losing your job. It's not going to be guaranteed. And what a recession is, is that the, when the economy goes down or declines for two consecutive quarters in a year. So like every year has got four quarters, right? So the first year, uh, the first quarter of this year, which ended in March 31st, we all know that things were not that up there. It was a negative impact on the economy. Right now we are in May. And we're going to hit June. And if June ends the same with the little, little impact on our economy, it is going to have the same negative impact. And when we have two quarters in a row, the hit that negative impact is going to result into a recession. A lot of people are going to lose jobs. A lot of businesses are going to have to close. Um, there's not going to be enough. And therefore, being wise, and this is why I am here today, and this is the reason I started, um, I extended my crushers list to everybody, and that's why I'm talking about it. And wisdom is preparing way ahead of time. You don't go planting your food when you are hungry. You plant it long before because it's going to take time for to mature and harvest, and you'll be able to cook and eat it. And that is exactly what I want us to do when it comes to our careers and employment and our businesses. Why am I um, even here spending my time to talk about it today instead of just having my weekend? I'm in my house. You can see um, I'm in the basement trying to talk with you guys. Why should it care? Because the impact of us getting into that point is beyond what some of us can actually um contemplate or maybe understand 
And we don't want to get to that point where now we are in a recession and that's when we are starting to start to think, what should we do? What can I do? And if we are together, I want you guys to comment and hit me a thumbs up. If you hear me, just say yes on the comment. We don't want to wait until the point where everything is going down. There's not enough money. There's not enough of anything. You don't have a job. You don't even know what to do. Then that is the moment you're trying to figure out where do I start? What do I do? Wisdom is for us to start preparing for that period, whether it comes or not. We need to be ready. We need to start getting ready now. Mercy, I see you. Thank you. Um, so you guys can hear me. We need to start preparing now. We don't want to prepare when it's already late. We don't want to prepare when we are already heat, when we are already at the verge of like breaking point. Okay. How do we prepare? That is what we are talking about today. One I came up with a list. I always had a list of priority, people who I put up there, who get my information, who I push, who have even direct access to me at any given time, people who will just be in the middle of the day heading to a meeting with our, an executive, the CFO, and they will just call me and tell me, Gina, what do I say within the next two minutes? Okay, people who I come through, I come through for them because I know their commitment, I know what they are capable of doing, and I know they take their career seriously. While you see me here doing a lot, I do not like wasting time because I don't have a lot of time either. We all have 24 hours. And when I'm working with someone and I feel that they are not taking their time and their career seriously, I feel it is better if I give someone else who is gonna spend the same amount of time, but then get a lot of input, in, impact output out of it, that is gonna change their life, that is gonna impact how they live their lives. And so while I was looking what could be laying ahead of us, what is pending is a little doom that is going to hit us. It's like we have a pending doom. If this COVID-19 continues for another just one more month, by June 31st, we could declare a recession. That's just what it is. Okay. Right now, Everyone from every part of the world, we all already feel it. We are all getting impacted differently. And we are not at a recession yet. So when it comes to that point, it's going to be harder. So the reason I started or I chose to extend my priority list to everyone, extend it to people who I do not even know. It's usually a list of people that I know. I've worked with, I know their commitment, their work ethic, their everything, but then I realized there's a lot of people out there who do not have a mentor. There's a lot of out people out there who do not have that chance that, oh, you know what, I really need uh, something that can help me win in this particular project or whatever, and I, they don't have anyone to call. They don't have anyone to go to. And I decided, you know what, I do not, I'm not the best. I'm not the smartest. I'm not, I don't have the answers to everything you're looking for. But then the little that I know have worked really well with a couple of people. There's a, a, a whole list of very happy people I've worked with. And therefore I figured if you guys would want for me to step in and assist, I do not have a problem. So I decided to spread myself thin, just take it on behalf of our people. What do I mean by our people? I mean that in the context of Africans and mostly African immigrants, not just Africans, but even black immigrants who are not necessarily from Africa. And why do I really care for this very specific group? Because most of the time, a lot of time since, since times immemorial, we have always lagged behind we are always like seven steps behind everyone else, behind everything else. When we are trying to catch up, you find that we are finding the breadcrumbs after the tables have been laid, people have eaten, and so we are just coming to get the leftover and the breadcrumbs and whatever is left. Why? Because most of us wait to be told, we wait to be guided, we wait to be given the direction before we actually get up and start walking or going towards where we need to go. 
So when we are here, just sitting down and hoping that coronavirus is going to go because the media and everybody and everything else is just focusing on the virus, not knowing the virus is doing damage under the surface. So when you're washing your hands, when you're uh, trying to stay home, which is very good, and I strongly recommend that uh, you feel like you're doing something good, which you are, but then that is not going to get you through the impact it is doing because it's like it's like in an ocean where you see um, an iceberg and you see the tip of it. And then you just think that if you lift it up with the weight that you estimate it to be from the top, it's going to work. But what you do not know under that surface level, whatever you can see underneath the waters, it runs very deep, very heavy, unbearable, unbearable. And today I'm not in a rush, so don't feel like in 30 minutes I'll be out of here because this is serious talk. We talk about it or we just going to go down. And I want you to hit me a thumbs up if we are together. So um, the virus is going to go. And even if it leaves today, even if it leaves by the end of June, even if whatever happens, the impact of what it has already done is going to continue with a ripple effect. A ripple effect is where you throw... Um, you throw a stone in a, in a very calm sea, a very calm uh, lake, and then the stone is going to just go straight down and it's no longer doing anything. It's just sitting at the bottom of the lake. But then the water is going to keep rippling across all the way like miles. It's going to keep rippling. That is what Corona is going to do and that is what it's doing. Even if we just take it and it's wiped out, the impact is going to keep impacting and affecting us. And that's what I think for us, we need to prepare. We need to be ready. By the time it's just hitting us hard, we already have something to lean on. Okay, so when I extended my invitation for everyone who would want to get my guidance, to get my assistance, to get my advice, to join my crushers list, which you do not need to do anything at all. All you need to do is to just send me your email address or text me your um, email address. And what I am doing, because I cannot be able to speak to 70 people in a day, it's I talk to a lot of people every day. I talk to people, I assist people, I get, I love connecting with humans uh, so that I can clearly understand um, exactly what is going on and come up with uh, strategies that are applicable. I'm not a believer on one size fits all, but then when it comes now into dealing with what we have at hand, if I am gonna, because there's one Gina, right? There's one Gina and she has this information that can help us not lose our jobs or at least go through a recession successfully, prepare, be able to cushion it. But then I can only talk to 20 people in a day. And therefore, if I just confine it to 20 people, to 20 calls, then a lot of people are just keep, people call me, people blow my phone, but I'm not able to answer because there's a lot of people at the same time requiring my attention. So to make it fair, what I decided to do is to prepare a program that is going to be in written form, it's going to be a video form, it's going to be, I'm working on it, I'm working on it, and what it's going to do is going to be accessible to you and to only people who will be providing me with their email address and those who will be contacting me via uh, the videos, uh, I mean, excuse me, who will contact me through the number that I have shared up there with you and on the DM if you send me your email. So once I put that list together, I will be able to provide a lot of people with direct, uh, direct content that is going to impact them, not only them, but then they are able to consume it, maybe share with friends or their family members. And therefore, even if we have to talk, I don't have to, because right now I talk to people almost a whole hour trying to help you. We only have 24 hours in a day and I get exhausted. I'm a human being too. But when we have that program, I'll be able to provide you directly with information that is going to help you prepare, that is going to help you stay woke, that is going to help you at least know what to expect or what to do, how to not do some stuff because they're going to impact your life in a big way than we all think. Okay. We need to prepare ahead of time. I want us to stop just sitting down and watching things happen because we have the tendency of doing that. A lot of Africans, especially, we love sitting down and waiting for others to tell us what to do. But right now, everyone else is also struggling and figuring out for themselves what they need to do. 
So if we don't wake up right now and start getting things done ourselves the way we ought and hope for them to be, if we just sit down and wait for CNN to tell us, oh, there's a recession and this is what is going to happen. And um, if you want to come out alive, you need to do A, B, C, and D. By the time that information gets to us especially, it is way too late. Those who make decisions, those who assist us, and those who need to do what they need to do have already finished. And so by the time we are starting to think what to do, it's already too late. If your job has a chance of getting impacted where a lot of jobs are getting affected by this um, pandemic, what you need to do is to actually start figuring out like an option, a plan B. Worst case scenario, you should be thinking of what it is that you can do that will make you way so valuable that your job cannot even let you go. Because like I told you, I told you last week, uh, when everyone else is whining, oh, there's not jobs, uh, we are getting fewer hours, blah, 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 whatever is going on, there are companies that are looking for the right talents. My clients last week got, last week got jobs. While everyone else is whining, oh, there are you no know, jobs, what do we do? I don't even want to apply for jobs because there's not enough. Guess what? There are people who are getting promotions. Because it's just, that's just how life happens. Life goes, operates in a balance. And so for you to prepare, you just need to know what side of that seesaw you have got to be and what it takes to be on that side. Okay? Because even if we hit the, re the recession, not everyone is going to be jobless. Not everyone is going to be making the bare minimum. Some people will still be making, others are, going, are getting their career breakthroughs right now. Because it's about knowing what to do, when, and just the timing. Timing and positioning is everything. Timing and positioning. Right now, the skills that you have been having or that you had before a coronavirus stroke is going to be different if you have to keep that job. You will have to up your game in one way or another. You will have to, um, to implement whatever you have to new ways of doing things, uh, processes, whatever it will be. You just need to innovate, grow in that role, improve, and be better than you have always been. Otherwise, it's going to be this virus is giving everyone a chance to just fire, to just restructure, to do things very differently. But if you have value, someone said, um, I think it's Warren Buffett who said that um, the virus has come to show us who swims naked. Because what it's doing is just lifting off everything that we used to cover ourselves with. Whatever you have been doing at your work, they're going to see the value you actually do bring in. And so if you really have to keep a job, especially after recession, you need to start communicating a lot of value and gathering a lot of information that is going to be helpful. And not just for you to keep it and to know it, but then to make sure that they understand. And by they, I mean your employer, your bosses, whoever is um, in charge of you. They need to see your value. That way, even when they are doing their assessment, they will not consider you as one of the people to let go. Last week, I was working with um, with one lady. We worked together like a year ago. And so she was getting, she was going through a year's review. I helped her get a job a year ago and she was going through a year, a whole year's review. And while everyone else is thinking there are no jobs and things are really tough and all of that, I told her what to do and how to ask for a promotion, a pay rise that is. And I structured her the way to present it and it actually went very well. And she got that because it's not about what is happening out here. It's about what you are bringing to the table. This war is internal, it's not external. And that is why you find on the news everywhere, they're just focusing on things you cannot control. But this battle is not external at all. It is internal. If you're able to prepare yourself internally, what you're bringing to the table, what you are doing, uh, the value that you do have, the solutions you've been building yourself, that is gonna be the tool that will get you the breakthrough. It's not trying to go out there and even just network and all of that and trying to, no. It's trying to build yourself and increasing your value, then positioning yourself. Because you could be as good as you are, but then you're in the wrong place with the wrong people for the wrong reasons and whatever. It's not going to help. But when you are able to build yourself from inside and then position yourself at the right place, 
you are going to get um, a chance to go through the whole process, the whole pandemic, the recession and everything, and still keep your job or be in a position to not go all the way down. Okay. So anyone who feels that um, they want to prepare, if you feel you are compelled by your whatever spirit, and you want to be at the right side when things go down, when these things get really tough, when this recession really hits, when everything is just taking a flip, not anymore as how we used to know it, you need to do something. If you need me to guide you on to how to prepare, how to come out alive, all I am asking from you is that you type on the comment or if you DM me or you text on my cell phone uh, directly to me, your email address, and then I will be providing that content. Um, it's not a one day thing. So it's going to be like continuous growth. Like I said, the recession is not going to hit maybe until end of um, June. That's when they could declare it. But then you don't want to wait until then for you to start doing something. You should always, always Always be ready before a problem strikes. Always prepare ahead of time. I know that that's, that's not natural with us, especially Africans. We kind of uh, rush in the last minute. But this is not a joke. This is not a joke. And I want you guys to take your jobs very, very seriously. One right job. I was telling someone last week, um, we were talking about the statistics and how African immigrants in America, how we get jobs and how sometimes we struggle. And it was very sad for me to let her know that in every African household, there is a chance that one out of, technically, in every household, there is someone who is leaving at least $20,000 on the table through just having the wrong job, not having a job, or having the right job and getting underpaid and undervalued, whatever it is. And so if you find a city, let's say like Brooklyn Center, Brooklyn Park, where we have a lot of African immigrants, you find that in that area alone could be even the reason the neighborhood is highly impacted with not good amenities and all of that. You find that in that neighborhood alone, the African families with each household losing about or living 20K on the table every year who will live here for about 10 years. So you find entire community ends up getting impacted. And this even happens even in Africa, in different countries where you find great organizations, big and everything. But then the Africans who are in that particular country are not the ones who are making decisions. The decisions are coming from outside. They are not the partakers of the biggest piece, piece of the pie. And that is something that we all have got to change. We need to work towards changing that narrative. We cannot just keep relieving it just because it has become more like a norm. It's like if you get a job and you're getting this amount, you're good to go. When you immigrate and you get into the U.S., this is the type of job you need to take. Or if you have this and that degree, uh, you won't find a good job. We kind of have to stop that, like cut it and stop that completely. So what we need to do is to just know it is our job and wake up, rise up to that occasion. Don't sit down. Don't sit down hoping that Trump is going to guide us on what is going to happen next because you are going to get fired. You're going to get no income. You're going to suffer by yourself. And we just need to start thinking just a little bit beyond what we have been thinking. We just need to focus slightly higher, slightly higher. Just what you do, figure out what you can do to improve it. And I'm telling you guys, you can call me and ask me, oh, Gina, this is what I do. What do I need to do? I never charge anyone to just consult with me. I help you all for free. But still, you have to push people. You have to this and that. But this time around, it's, it's not a joke. We are talking about a recession, which is way beyond your control. You cannot control it. No matter how much money you have, you ain't going to like stop the recession. But then what you can do is to prepare yourself. Be ready and figure out how you are going to come out alive. And if you're waiting until June for you to start figuring out what to do, that is going to be already too late like way too late. If you hope to keep your job, if you hope to improve on what you're doing, if you hope to get a better opportunity and position, the time to start doing it is right now. Okay. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. 
anyone who wants to join, please send me a text message with your email address or you can slide in my DM. It's up to you. It's up to you. You sign up and I will be glad to work with you each and every step and do all that I can to help you not go down with the recession. Okay, so that is all for now. I really hope that you guys are enjoying your weekend. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And I will hope to see you um, next week. I hope to do another video and we can catch up next week. Have a good night. And thank you so much for tuning in. I always appreciate you guys. Okay, bye.